So what I have here is a painting that I'm getting ready to ship to Paintworks magazine. It's my design. It's called uh, Fresh Cut Christmas Trees. And I'm working on the colored worksheet that will be shown in the magazine. And I thought it would be a really good idea to record some of the painting techniques that you will read about and you will see in the magazine. Uh, you will have to bear with me because I'm recording and painting by myself. So um, it's not going to be really, really professional, but it will definitely help you through the painting process. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. This is the truck. And what I'm going to do is paint a three-part colored worksheet uh, showing some of the techniques on aging the truck. So as you read through the notes you will see that I suggest that you paint the truck with one loose coat of heritage brick. Now I've set the camera up, I'm left-handed and I've put it on an angle so hopefully you'll be able to see everything uh, really well. I'm going to use uh, Royal Majestic's number two filbert brush and you can slightly thin the paint with a little bit of water just to allow it to move a little bit. You can see that I've kind of started the other two trucks um, from the colored worksheet. So with this number two, I'm going to um, just base coat and I'm going to work um, sort of a little section at a time making sure that I pull in the direction of each of the, I call it the body part of the vehicle. So you can see how I'm trying to leave just a little bit of the background color showing through and trying to really loosely kind of streak on my initial base coat. So what this does is it helps um, just while you're base coating to distress the vehicle before you apply further aging. Just gives you a nice little visual instead of base coating uh, with one heavy coat of paint. This is just one loose coat. Makes it look a little vintage already. So make sure that you pull in the direction of the body part. So I'm going to pull along this fender. And you can see as the paint kind of starts to leave my brush, then I can be a little looser, streak it on. And just continue to work. The filbert works nice, the number two filbert. Again, this is a Royal Majestic brush. You can use it on the flat or the chisel edge, which is the up and down. So as I go to the hood, you can kind of work on the flat. And then the chisel edge. And the way I have my camera set up, I am coming at this in a different angle. I actually tried it the first time, and because I'm left-handed, my hand was in the, the way for a lot of the visual. So I, I'm sitting a little awkward, but I think it gives you a good idea of what I'm trying to achieve with my initial base coat. You can work to a um, change to a smaller brush, a short little liner, if you need to for any small little areas. So that's coming along quite nicely. Um, I'll just show you one more thing with this base coating. So what I can do is 
um, where I've got a few of the little darker spots now that they're dry I can just pick up a little more paint and just go in and kind of lightly pat on a little more dark here and there just to help to really create that vintage base coat maybe clean up any edges so it just creates some nice lights and darks See how I'm rounding it into the front. Okay, so I'll finish this up and then what I'll do is set the camera up again when, I, um, when I'm going to age a little bit and um, distress this vehicle. So I'll record it and you'll have another good visual. I'll see you in a bit.